plaque is soft and easily cleaned off with a toothbrush, a toothpick, or an interdental brush where necessary. If left in place, calcium may be deposited in the plaque to form calculus. Calculus is not removable using a toothbrush, a toothpick, or an interdental brush. Calculus has to be removed by a dentist or a hygienist. Removing plaque on a daily basis reduces the chance of calculus forming. Use a toothbrush which has bristles fanning out like this. Because of the distribution of bristles, there should always be some at the correct angle, even if the brush is held incorrectly. Place the little finger below the handle of the brush and hold between the first finger and thumb and second finger so that the brush can be tilted to achieve the correct angle. Always use a soft toothbrush. Medium and hard brushes damage the gums. The key to removing the plaque, as well as getting gums healthy, is to brush the gum line at an angle of 45 degrees downwards. Try keeping the bristles in the actual crevice between the gum and the tooth. Do not brush like this, but like this. It's a very short brush action, otherwise the bristles would come out of the crevice between the gum and the tooth. Start behind the back tooth. Tilt the brush downwards 45 degrees and brush 10 times. Come round like this on the back two teeth and again brush 10 times. And so on. By turning the head to the right, you can get right round to the canine tooth on the left. Change round, go back to the canine tooth here at 45 degrees, brushing 10 times, so that the front teeth are cleaned twice. These teeth tend to be the ones that stain most. When you go round, do two teeth at a time, keeping the bristles in the crevice going backwards and forwards with this sort of action, not scrubbing like this. On the inside, turn the bristles towards the outside, pointing downwards at 45 degrees. Again, brush 10 times. When brushing the inside of the lower teeth at the back, place your tongue on the toothbrush to keep it down at the junction of the tooth and the gum. Coming to the canine tooth here, change to this action. Ten times on each individual tooth in the lower front, brushing in and out. Tilt your head downwards when brushing the inside of the lower front teeth. Then on the inside again, and then at the back. Then brush here, start at the back, two teeth at a time, working your way round to the front, each tooth ten times. Change round, Go back to the canine tooth here at 45 degrees, brushing 10 times, so that the front teeth are cleaned twice. Repeat for the other side. Two teeth at a time, each tooth 10 times. Moving inside, again start at the back. Hold the brush outwards at an angle. Again, brush 10 times, two teeth at a time. Tilt your head backwards when brushing the inside of the upper front teeth. To start with, for the first 10 days to 2 weeks it may well be painful and there may well be bleeding, but it is important to keep going with the cleaning until the gums become healthy. So if it bleeds, work harder. If it hurts, work harder. Do it 20 times instead of 10 times and the result will be the gums will get healthier. Use short strokes and don't brush too vigorously and don't press too hard. 
Clean your teeth once a day really well. Cleaning your teeth means cleaning all the surfaces of your teeth using a toothbrush, a toothpick and an interdental brush where necessary. Clean at any time of the day. After brushing, feel how clean the teeth are. The objective is to get to the stage where you don't need your teeth cleaned by a dentist or hygienist. Control of gum disease is a continuous process for life. Once you've got your gums healthy, if you stop cleaning between your teeth and brushing on the insides and outsides with a toothbrush, then the gum disease will come back again within a short period of time. It is a continuous, once-a-day process for a lifetime.